Nicole from Nicole Loves Nails. Welcome to my channel with my squeaky chair. Watch me under the light. So keep me in your Cause I can do this all night. Hey everyone, it is Nicole from Nicole Loves Nails. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, I'm Nicole. It's nice to meet you. Thank you for clicking on this video. Do consider hitting subscribe. I upload new videos every single week featuring both mainstream indie and a little bit of boutique nail polish. If you are in fact a returning subscriber, welcome back. How are you doing? I hope everyone's having a fantastic week. So today's video is for the May Little Box of Horrors shop. So for May, the theme of the Little Box of Horrors is going to be the Rocky Horror Picture Show. If you are new, um, Little Box of Horrors is a bi-monthly indie collaboration. I will have more information down in the description boxes because I feel like if I was going to explain it all, it would be very, very long. But in short, it is a bi-monthly collaboration where each, um, each sale period the inspiration is like sci-fi, horror, and kind of spooky kind of things. So the May shop opens up on the 18th of May at I believe 3 p.m. Eastern Time. If I'm wrong, it is on the screen now. As always, down in the description box, you will be able to find uh, sale information, links to the website, links to social media pages, my social media pages, as well as a link to my blog post where I host all of my swatch photos. And also on the blog post, um, for each brand, I also have all of their social media pages linked over there. Can't fit everything in the description box. So if you would like to also support each of these individual brands, head over to my blog post to get all of their links and whatnots. So now that that's all put away, uh, let's just get into this video. First up, we have all mixed up lacquers with He Shook Me Up. This polish was inspired by Columbia, aka Little Nell, and her vibrant hair, blush, and sequin bow tie. The polish is described as being a berry slash magenta base with shifting shimmers and matching chameleon flakies. It's priced at $12.50 for 15ml and has a cap of 50 bottles. This polish had a fantastic jelly formula. Since it is a jelly, you will definitely want to build this one up for the most opacity. I did find that in three coats, I did still have some fairly obvious uh, visible nail line showing both my natural nail as well as like my extension nail. I think this one is sheer enough. You could definitely use it with a topper. I think it would play really nicely with a visible nailing blurring base if you use one. But personally, I do not mind a little bit of sheerness. If you pulled my arm to try to describe this one, I would say it is somewhere between a cranberry and a berry shade. I particularly really like this one with a matte top coat. So nothing in here is going to dry down textured or be difficult to remove. I forgot to mention the base did not feel overly thick or thin either and no issues with staining or on removal. Next up we have Cattail Nails with We're Going Home. This polish was inspired by the outfits of Rocky Horror and described as being a silver polish full of different size silver metallic flakes as well as black shreds. It's priced at $11 for 15ml and has a cap of 250 bottles. We're Going Home had a fantastic formula. I will say in person that this one looked like gold to me. I did, I only, the only time that it looked silver to my eye was when I had it outside very close to the sun setting and then it looked silver, but literally everywhere else, I would have sworn this polish was gold. So this polish had a really beautiful formula. I found all the flaky spread out very evenly and easily. The black shreds do seem to sink a little in the base. So if you hold the bottle upside down, you will get more of them out on the nail. However, uh, I did not do that. I only did that for like one nail just to see if there was a difference. There was, but I think it is like a negligible amount of difference. I will also say if you have longer nails, this one, the black shreds might kind of try to congregate towards the tips of your nails. So you might need to like zhuzh them back up the nail if you have long nails. If you have short nails, that will not be an issue. I find that that's how these kind of shreds tend to work. I swatched this polish in three coats plus one coat of top coat. I was very surprised that one coat of top coat smoothed this one out completely for me. Um, if you don't mind a uh, visible nail line, this will be passable in two coats. I was initially going to stop at two coats, but I decided to make it full coverage. I really like the way it looked in two coats personally. Removal is going to be on the difficult and messy side if you try to scrub this one off. Next up, we have Hearts and Promises with Jump to the Left, Step to the Right. 
This polish was inspired by the Time Warp and it is described as being a bright neon pink polish loaded with a silver reflective glitter. It's priced at $13 for 15 ml and has a cap of 300 bottles. This polish had a really great formula. I was very surprised that the base did not feel like really thick at all despite having a ton of silver reflective glitter in here. It kind of applied like a jelly polish. To get the most opacity, you're gonna wanna build this one up for three coats. For the Life Swatch, I only did two coats because I feel like how much it was showing, the difference between two and three was pretty negligible. But for my swatches, I did use three coats. This is a very, very, very bright neon pink polish. And the reflective glitters in here were very sparkly. I also found that the reflective glitters in here were not like super textured. I used one coat of top coat and I had this on for like an hour and a half maybe and I did not notice that the polish was getting textured as it dried down further. Removal shouldn't be overly difficult but it will be very messy from all of those glitters. I used a peel off base coat. Next up we have Linby Designs with even smiling makes my face ache. This polish was inspired by Frankenfooter's face and is described as being a black base multi-chrome that shifts from a red to yellow to green with a scattered hollow shimmer. It's priced at $13 for 15 ml and has no cap. This polish had a fantastic formula. The base does start off very sheer, so you'll definitely want to build this one up. I found in three coats, in most lighting I did not see any visible nail line, but um, in brighter lighting like in the sun, or under like a super bright light that I could see like very obvious visible nail line. So it's just gonna depend on your lighting. Uh, the the multi-chrome in here was very color shifty. I wrote it down as seeing magenta, peachy, yellow to green color shifts. Um, but yeah, it's around the same family as the description. Um, no brush strokes with that shimmer. This one was also extremely holographic. <laughs> like this was like BAM holographic in the sunlight. So I swatched this one in three coats plus one coat of top coat. I think it will be a solid three quarter just to get the most opacity. Um, nothing in here will dry down textured. It does dry down a little bit dull so you will want top coat for a glossy finish. So also available this month is going to be a multi-chrome eyeshadow from Linby Designs called Time Warp. Comes in this packaging like this. And here you can even see some of the multi-chrome in there. So at the time of recording, I do not have uh, the sale information for this one. So I'm just gonna give a review on it. And if I get the information by the time this video goes up, I'll have everything on the screen or over on my blog post. So I am currently wearing this eyeshadow on my eyes. Hold on, let's come, let's move in closer. So I don't have anything else on my eye. Well, I've got a little something, in, I've put some highlight in my water. What's this called? The corner of my eye but I don't have anything else on. And like, you can see all of that multi-chromatic goodness. So I think I'm seeing, here we go. Like I'm seeing like red and pink and teal and purple. Like it is absolutely stunning. And I just realized how shiny my face is. <laughs> Oops. So yeah, I have my phone underneath of me here just to try to get some more lighting angles and just to show the multi-chrome shift, but it's absolutely stunning. And here is the eyeshadow in natural light. Um, I'm using my phone, so yeah, but, and there's a bug trying to fly into my eyeball. But yeah, like this is absolutely stunning. So no extra lighting, this is just like natural light at the end of the day. Super, super pretty. I can't speak how long it lasts without using primer. I only, this is my second time I've worn it and the first time I wore it with primer. I haven't seen it and I didn't notice a difference in application using a glitter primer versus no primer at all. Uh, for this look, I did just apply it with my finger and just like a teeny tiny little brush to get it closer to the corners of my eyes. I find that these are very beginner friendly and one of my favorite things about multi-chrome eyeshadow in particular is that you can get a really cool look on your eye with minimal effort, which I love. <laughs> Next up is MTK Designs with Late Night Double Feature Picture Show. This polish was inspired by a stylized movie poster. It is described as being a trithermal that is hot pink when hot, lilac when warm, and red when cold. It also has a glowy shimmer as well as a purple slash pink shifting sparkle. It's priced at $12 for 15 ml and has no cap. This polish had a really nice formula. I found it applied very much like an opaque creme polish. So it was slightly on the thicker side, but thick in the way that makes it opaque 
and not thick in the way that makes it difficult to work with. Um, I had a hard time with the thermal. Uh, my hands were like really cold, but my room was really warm. So I was kind of like struggling trying to show all three color states on my nail. I was able to get them to change, but like it was just a battle trying to keep all three colors on the nail at the same time. I think this one's going to be a two to three coater depending on nail length and personal preference. Um, I swatched it in three coats and I had basically 95% opacity. The warmest state you will have a little bit of visible nail line depending on how long your nails are. Nothing in here will dry down textured or be difficult to remove. You will want top coat just to give this a glossy finish. Next up we have my Indie Polish with Spotlight. This one was inspired by a picture from the Rocky Horror Picture Show and it is described as being an obnoxiously holographic blue base with holographic shards, glitter, as well as some pink shimmer and pink glitters. It's priced at $13 for 15 ml and has no cap. Spotlight had a really gorgeous formula. The base did not feel overly thick or thin and I had no application issues. This was also surprisingly opaque. Like I, I almost thought it was going to be a one coater. I think it's likely going to be a two to three coater. If you have very long nails, you might want to go in for three coats. For personal wear, I feel like I would just wear this one in two coats though. I found that the shimmer gives this polish an almost metallic look on the nail. I couldn't tell you what color the shimmer was just so that I could see something in there. Like the star of the show is definitely going to be the holographic. The shards do give this a little bit of texture, but one coat of top coat seemed to smooth it out completely. Removal will be meh, probably on the messy side if you try to scrub this one off. I soaked it off and had no issues and no problems with staining. And the final polish that I have is by Night Owl Lacquer and it is called Strange Journey. This one was just inspired by the Rocky Horror Picture Show and is described as being a clear base filled with a silver holographic micro flake black and rose gold metallic flakes, as well as a burgundy slash red slash gold shifting shimmer. It's priced at $13 for 15 ml and has no cap. This polish had a fantastic formula. I was very surprised that this built up for full opacity in two coats. I, yeah, I, was, I was very shocked. It was uh, slightly on the thicker side, but again, not thick in the hard to apply, but just like thick in the opaque. Those holographic microflakes are extremely holographic. Like I thought that there was multiple types of holographic in here just based on holographic this one is. Everything spread out very evenly and easily with giving off minimal texture. It is also sheer enough that this can definitely be used as a topper. I'll have a photo of this one in one coat over a black creme polish but I think this one's likely going to be a solid two coater on most people. So this one is going to be extremely messy if you even think about scrubbing it off. I soaked it off with no issues. Okay. So top picks this month are gonna be pretty easy to guess. The first one is going to be the Hearts and Promises lacquer because it's neon pink. Like we don't need to go any further other than it is a bright AF neon pink. Pink is my favorite color in the entire world and yeah. I just love this. And my second top pick is going to be the My Indie Polish called Spotlight. There was this something about this base color paired with the holographic that made me very, very happy. So that fault, so this polish is going to be on there for that reason. I almost forgot my other top pick is going to be the Linby Designs eyeshadow. Like I'm literally wearing it on my face right now. Um, so yeah, the Linby Designs eyeshadow is just phenomenal. I genuinely really enjoy those. I have purchased them from the Little Box shop before. Alright, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, uh, the theme this month is Little Box Little Box of Horrors is the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Uh, personally, I am not a fan of the movie or play, however you want to say it. Uh, basically, when I was in middle school, um, I was... <laughs> I was not the person that I am today. Let's put it that way. And is anyone ever the person they are in middle school? Anyway, um, so I had missed a bunch of classes because I, I didn't go. And basically everyone had to do like this video report kind of thing. And the people I ended up doing the video report with ended up deciding that they were going to do it on Rocky Horror Picture Show. Which, long story short, basically turned into us doing a reenactment of different songs in the movie. I think it was the Time Warp one. 
and uh, I did not enjoy it. To say that I hated it would be an understatement and I pray to God that video is destroyed somewhere because it was I hated it so much. Rocky Horror Picture Show to me just reminds me of torture from middle school so I'm not a fan. But yeah these polishes were fantastic and I can't wait to see what else is available because even if I don't like the theme I'm, I'm still gonna look to see what's available. <laughs> That's just me. Uh, yeah, so thank you all for listening to that long thing. So yeah, I would love to know what everyone else is playing on picking up. Uh, are you a fan of Rocky Horror Picture Show? Let me know because sometimes I feel like I should try to watch it as an adult to appreciate it more and other times all I could just think about is being forced to sing the songs and step to the left. I just hate it so much. So, so yeah, that's just me. So I will just talk to you all in the next video. Bye! Right there behind all of these trees is Panda. He is a feral kitty cat that we've been feeding for about a year now. He doesn't let me get super close to him. I get it's about like a, a foot is as close as I've gotten so far. But yeah, I just interrupted him from eating his dinner. So I'm gonna go back inside so he can eat and whatnot. Okay, one more video. Look how cute he is. He's a very cute little guy. Well, he's not little at all. He's actually really ginormous. But yeah. Okay. Bye, Panda.